Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com, and as you can see, I got an unboxing and initial impressions to do today. Really excited about this one. I've been waiting to get this in for a while. This is the Me Photo Road Trip Tripod. These things are awesome. They come in several different colors. I'm assuming this one's blue if I'm going by the box. Um, let's get it out of the box and show it to you. These are extremely compact tripods. I, I'm not sure that there's a more compact tripod on the market today. Let's get it out. So, in the box, we've got our tripod, which comes wrapped in our uh, a baggie here. And this is cool because, as you can see, the tripod includes a nice tripod case with a shoulder sling. So you can put this over your shoulder. So if you're heading out and about, you don't have to worry about uh, mounting this on your backpack. Of course, you could if you wanted to. But it's got its own bag with its own sling, which is certainly really handy okay so a um, nice bag actually good quality bag i quite like that with an adjustable strap this comes out here it's got a nice little tab on velcro it appears so that we can uh, adjust the sling strap for the bag but let's get to the nitty gritty let's get the uh, tripod out of here which is what i'm really excited about i've heard such good things about these tripods and i've been dying to get my hands on one and i finally remembered to or managed to get a hold of me photo and uh got myself one in big thanks to me photo here it is look at that so this isn't the blue one. Maybe the box is this, the, the, that's the blue color because, you know, blue is probably the best color for the box. Look how compact that is. You could see when it's up to me, the size of it. I mean, this is, probably says here, right on here, folded, it's 15.6 inches. I actually think Me Photo might have an even smaller one, but this one is 15.6 folded. It goes to 64 inches when extended. That's the maximum height and uh, as a monopod, because you can use this as a monopod with the legs in. The maximum height as a tripod with legs extended is 61.8 inches, so say 62 inches. Uh, folded, it's 15.6. It can support 3.6, no, sorry, that's the weight of the tripod, not what it supports, uh, 3.6 pounds. The load, is 17.6 pounds so this thing will handle a combination of most of your dslrs even your big guys with most of your lenses you'd be have to be into a very heavy lens on a very heavy dslr before this isn't going to support it so this is the tripod here and it's got the uh screw locks on it so you screw this and it locks it like that so i'm just going to leave it collapse for now because i'm going to do a further hands-on review this is kind of just our unboxing and initial impressions here so i think these weren't tightened down from shipping but let's see let's make sure they're still in there because i want to turn this around and show you the tripod set up so there we go and i think we can adjust the collar so that there we go so that shows you the tripod in it's uh fully collapsed uh, or I guess it's lowest height open as a tripod now each of these legs has a there's a little click locks on here with various positions so the first position is that right there I think I got those all at the same one but then you can um, pull out the locks and you can raise this to quite a good height for getting really low to the ground so quite a low height I guess is what I'm trying to say there let me just see here there we go it's hard it's very easy to maneuver these but it's hard when i'm trying to um do this at a table and not in a real world situation but there you go you could see that you can get this thing pretty low to the ground this way i think if i'm not mistaken i'll have to double check that for you here i think the post comes out and inverts so you can put it upside down so I can't see that there, but we're going to have to check it out and get back to you on that for our review. I'm not sure if that comes out, center column comes out now. It says it's a sliding with telescoping extension. 
The tilt range is negative 45 degrees to plus 90. It's double action ball head. It is a um, panning range of 360 degrees with a lock. It's got a bubble level on it. Uh, quick release plate is Arca Swiss style, which is this up here. And let's get that out to show you. So there's the, the plate, the quick release plate. The build quality on this is really nice. Everything about this. You've got three-way locks on here on the Swiss style uh, ball head here. We've got the movable ball head. And then we've got our locks for swivel. And this one is for, that must be tension lock, I think. I'm gonna have to check all that out and I'll show you more once I've had the hands-on use and review with the camera on it. Um, what else did I need to tell you on here? The leg locks are twist type, reverse a folding uh, with two position locks. The um, camera mount thread is one quarter inch dash 20, which is standard. Uh, and the included accessory spike feet and carrying case with shoulder strap. So, um, I don't know where the uh, spiked feet are. I'm gonna have to uh, look and see where those are included. The feet definitely unscrew and I'm wondering, this, it's got a rubber grommet on the end, a rubber foot, but it's kind of got a spiky position. I wonder if that's what they mean by spiked feet. Now, the other thing this does is the center column attaches to one leg, converting it into a full 64 inch monopod. So that's kind of cool. We're gonna um, get that into use once I do the hands-on review and we'll show you how that works. But overall, the fit and finish on this is very, very nice, very smooth. The locks feel really solid on it. Um, the angle locks for the positioning of our legs here this is a very solid joint. They feel smooth and the lock works well. The um, center column is very smooth, very solid in there. When I lock it down, it's got a good lock on it. This tripod feels very solid. I'm really impressed with the little ball head. Uh, you know, it's Arca Swiss style, but it seems to be very nicely manufactured, very nicely made. It unscrews. You can replace the head if you wanted to, but the nice thing is, is this comes complete with a really nice little ball head. As I said, there's um, three adjustments there, and um, then you've got your removable Arca Swiss style plate up there. Even everything's been nicely thought out here for engineering. The uh, the rubber on the knob, um, compared to some other tripods I've used, some of my own, this is a really nice lock knob. It's a little bit bigger and it's got rubber on it. It's easy to get your hands on. It doesn't slip in your hands like some of the smaller metal ones do. Um, the same with these positioners and these lock knobs on the actual ball head itself. And uh, just a really nice little tripod. Uh, well made. Um, it, it reminds me of something much more expensive, um, like more into Gitzo and higher levels. Um, I think what we're seeing here is me photos really coming to market with a build quality, fit and finish, and just an overall quality. Um, it's why these are popular tripods. If you look, they're very popular online. Just to give you an idea, on Amazon, you can get these for, I think the standard price going is $1.99 when I just looked, but sometimes they'll have some deals. I know the last time I looked, there was a red, white, and blue edition with the different colors, and that was $179.99. I'll put the link below. You can check it out. Um, this is the Mi Photo, and let me make sure I got the right name. This is the Mi Photo Road Trip Tripod Kit. So. Uh, that is the Mi Photo Road Trip. Very excited to get this thing into use, get a hands-on review for you guys. I'm excited because I think this is going to become my go-to daily tripod for when I'm out and about doing vlogs, doing uh, camera reviews, doing stuff to show you guys new cameras and whatnot. I often want a tripod with me, and this is light, versatile, and just seems really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to getting this, pressing this into service, as they say. If you guys have any questions about this Me Photo Road Trip, um, let me know and I'll see if I get them answered for you. If I don't know the answer, I will get Me Photo. I'll get my contact at Me Photo to provide the answers. And uh, if you guys have the road trip, let me know what you think of it. If you have one of the other Me Photo tripods, 
Get, give us your feedback. Let us know how you're liking it, what you use it for. And um, we'll have a little discussion on me photo uh, tripods because so far I'm really impressed with this thing. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at rtheimage.com.